What is up guys, my name is Boba Talks and welcome to a brand new Gotham Season 4 video. Now this video is, yes, another drone video shortly after just yesterday's one which I added into the trailer breakdown. But I noticed how Brian, the guy who said that Jerome is just Jerome, has come out and talked to comicbook.com with what we've got to look forward to with what Jerome's arc is this season. And also there is a picture of Jerome on the set of Gotham Season 4. Now here is the photo of Jerome. Now it doesn't look like obviously this is a scene that is being filmed because we can see see Jerome here in what is most likely and I'm pretty confident is the Arkham you know prison where now there are a few key things that I notice about this photo one being the white shoes and the white gloves I'm pretty sure that when you're put into Arkham Asylum you're not actually given these kind of shoes and gloves I don't see why they would have given him that so maybe uh, a part of his storyline whether he breaks out or not or whatever way he's getting out of Arkham he acquires these shoes I'm I'm really not sure maybe Maybe they do for some reason give it to him as a part of his wear. Also, I'm pretty sure that we're getting a short haired Jerome Valeska. It looks like if you look pretty closely, his head by the sides have been shaved. And I don't know, it just kind of looks a bit weird if this is the case. We've only kind of known Jerome in season one to have long hair. Uh, season two, season three, he's had very well, quite long, long hair. And it does look like he'll be sporting the short back and size as well as potentially, I don't know, fringe and stuff. So it's going to be a bit different of a look, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about Jerome having his hair shaved. Now, in between his hands covering his face, I'm not sure if he's actually just wearing shades or if that's actually what I've always thought he might do to cover up a little bit of his scars, apply a bit of makeup around his eyes, like dark eyeshadow, like the Heath ledger -y kind of makeup. But at the same time, would they let him use that in Arkham Asylum and stuff like that. So there's all these questions that are up in the air. Don't forget, guys, he's wearing earphones by the looks of it. So a lot of this, you know, the shoes and stuff like that could be stuff that he's just wearing anyway. Some of this could be misdirecting and they could just be shades that is covering a part of his makeup as he's walking between set and don't forget he is covering his face so maybe there's stuff to hide there i don't know but we can see his smile as well so he's still very much so got that makeup that they apply to his face that makes his smile longer because don't forget that he had his face stitched back on so that's very much so going to be maintained i don't expect these scars to be completely healed i think it's going to be very obvious that they're there but apart from that guys that is all there is to this photo but let me know what you think could be going on in the comments below let me know if you have any ideas at all so let's Let's get talking and speculating about the story arc that Jerome will be having this season. And we're back. What? With future me. No, I actually recorded this video a couple of days ago and it was meant to come out on Saturday, but I was busy and couldn't get this video up in the end. But anyway, moving along, it's now Monday and you're probably seeing this today. And I'm adding this part into the video because there is actually something else that gives us a little bit of clues as well into this whole Jerome story arc thing thingamabobby thing. Now, some of you may know this guy already, Mike Maddy, I believe. He goes by Mike Maddy Makeup on Instagram and he's the guy responsible for creating this awesome makeup that Jerome has on Gotham. Now, just a few days ago, he posted this picture and it's just a part of his makeup trailer or wherever he, I guess, applies the makeup to people like Cameron Monaghan and he'll have a few things in the background. But notice one thing on the top right photo. Now, obviously, when I zoom in, it just gets blurry as hell because the quality of these photos isn't great. And when you look at these on Instagram anyway and want to zoom in, their quality is compressed and stuff. So it's not fantastic, but I'm pretty confident, uh, almost certain, to be honest, that this is the mold for Jerome Valeska's face in season four. To be honest, I don't think it looks massively different. I just thought that I'd chuck this in the video because I thought it was pretty cool. I didn't really expect his look to look massively different anyway, especially judging from the photo we just looked at. Even though he got his face stitched back on at Arkham, that doesn't mean that it wasn't cut off. That doesn't mean that scars won't be around here and around his eye. Um, and, you know, obviously his extended mouth. So I think that it's more or less going to look pretty similar. I think Jerome is going to sport that new uh, short haircut. Maybe got it. Obviously, he's trimmed in Arkham. And I've received a couple of comments that you guys think that the picture that Jerome uploaded was uh, from the Fight Club. But I still don't think that is the case. Some of you saying you recognize the fan in the background. I don't think Jerome would be in the Fight Club. I seriously don't think he would have any business there. Could you imagine Jerome fighting or doing anything like that? By all means, he could. I'm not, you know, privy to any information or secret, top secret information that is going on on Gotham Season 4. But there are some more photos going around that people are uploading of Arkham Gotham Season 4 set. So I, with all this entwining here, just like this photo that I'm showing on screen right now, I think it makes sense that when Cameron Monaghan uploaded that picture, 
of that background, it would be Arkham. Because obviously he was sent to Arkham and then that leaked picture came out of him going in between sets and he was in like Arkham inmate clothing. So I think it just kind of makes sense that way. But anyway, on to past Boba. And now this is what one of the executive producers, Brian Windebrand, had to say about Jerome this season and his story and what we just have to be excited about. I was watching the dailies and I was watching just some of the cuts and whatever and what you get instantly with Cameron is this bolt of electricity. It can power the DeLorean and send you back in time. That's the level of energy this guy brings to the show. He's electric. He brings something, a gravitas to the show that just ups it. And so the real balance with him is he is that flavor, that sweet you have to make sure that you don't get it to a place where people are so used to it where you don't really appreciate it anymore. And I just want to say in terms of that first paragraph to all the people who always say I want Jerome as a season regular in every single episode, that last line that Brian had to say is something I completely agree with and I've been saying this whole time and it's a really good analogy i feel like jerome shouldn't be in the show any more than a few episodes a uh, season because he really is just like that flavor or that sweet that you have but you just also don't want to make sure you get to a place where you're just too used to it to where you don't really appreciate it anymore because i guarantee you you if you had him in all the episodes you will not be as excited about that character um, as you are when he only comes three or four episodes a season. So continuing what Brian says. So the balance with him is how do we make him continually cool and continually something that brings that energy, that newness in where we don't get complacent or feel like his character just sort of starts to become just another one of the core. His entrance into the show always signifies something big happening and so you just have to be careful with that character. That you don't overplay his hand in the show, but all that being said, he has been phenomenal. We have an awesome story for him. You're going to love it and fans are going to love it and it really goes to a really interesting place and has ripple effects, not just in this season, but hopefully, knock on wood, next season as well. This is really something that just we as a room cooked up and it's really unique and an original kind of take on the storyline for him. We feel like where the killing joke was so obviously and intentionally a touchstone in the last run, there is nothing of that kind of ilk for this. Now, there's always things that will make you go, oh, it's a little bit like this, or it's a little bit, I see the inspiration there. I see the inspiration here. But this is a very original kind of take on this story and we're really excited about it because his reintroduction into the Gotham world is going to have him crossing with characters we've not yet seen him with which is really kind of a theme we've been playing with with this whole season and something we've challenged ourselves over designing this season. So what Brian is essentially saying there is even though they've done things like from the killing joke and storylines that are their homage to the Joker in Gotham, this time around the storyline is really going to be something new that's going to keep fans like us guessing so we can't really predict what they're going to do because it's not going to be based on a Joker-like storyline where they may change it a little bit. Even though there's going to be some things in the Jerome story arc where with maybe think a little bit oh i see the inspirations here and there but ultimately it's going to keep us guessing because it's going to be completely new and i really respect that and i want that because it just makes things less predictable don't forget guys all this information comes on top of what i spoke about in yesterday's gotham video uh well the second video that i released yesterday with the mid-season finale synopsis stating that a familiar smile resurfaces in gotham so if you missed that video i'll link it on the end card of this video so be sure to check that out for the synopsis for the mid-season finale because that is where we're literally most likely going to see Jerome because it does state that it is but you never know they could change things up. I do think that he will just barely show in the mid-season finale and it will just kind of leave us on a cliffhanger over Christmas for where it will return in January just like last year and that is around the time where all the official kind of leaks will be happening that Cameron Monaghan uh, will be releasing photos because he has recently said on Twitter that he, he wants nothing more than to just uh, post spoilery pictures of Jerome but I, I guess he can't right now because it's a little bit too early and at the same time even though that photo I posted at the beginning of this video as much as I like seeing photos like that I also don't want to be spoiled too much so I might be picky with some of the things I show unless they're officially teased by Cameron himself I showed this one because he, he's got his hands covering his bloody face so there wasn't too much to analyze but it was 
purely a teaser because we get to see his costume a bit. We get to see a teeny bit of his smile on his mouth. We get to see a little bit of his haircut. So you get what I mean. But that's all I've got to say in this video, guys. So I hope you appreciated the little update. If you did, maybe go ahead and leave a like on this video as it really does show you support for the channel. And if you're new to this channel, be sure to turn notifications on and maybe even subscribe. I should have said that the other way around uh, just to ensure that you never miss out on a Gotham Season 4 or Arrowverse video. If you guys want to stay a little bit more up to date with me personally, you can do so by following me on social media. The link should be popping up on the screen around here or in the description below. But other than that, guys, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.